Welcome to day 27. This has been awesome. We are just about halfway through and I am so excited to see all the results that are coming in from you guys from new coaches to rank advancements to sales to success club and much more. We have a success starter. We This is just awesome. Um, this training's been great, and we are halfway through, just about, today's day's 27. Understanding personalities. And I just want you to know that um, for the longest time in the beginning, I was so confused on the personalities, and um, I didn't realize we all... I thought everyone was motivated by the same thing. I had no idea. Other people were motivated by something different. And you would you could you can bump heads with somebody like that cuz you're motivated by something and you, you don't understand why aren't you motivated by what I'm motivated by, right? Right. So Beach Body has given us a color-coded personality test that you can certainly use and I will post with this video. However, the majority of our team lear has learned the gems. There is another book called Personality Plus and um, you may run into some people who understand those uh, personalities. They're all the same. Uh, they just have different names. So in Personality Plus, you'll find a phlegmatic equals a pearl in the gems. Um, and a ruby equals a caloric in the um, gems. So we took on gems. Gems came from Danny Johnson. It's a full program that I highly recommend. Um, it's really great to um, learn personalities and really just understand what's going on with a person and what they're motivated by. So there's four different types of personalities. Personality number one is the sapphire. The sapphire is motivated by fun. The sapphire is always assuming they're in trouble. The sapphire loves colors bright colors and you best believe the majority of Sapphire's closets the clothes are just everywhere. The Sapphire overpacks when they travel and um, brings everything you can think of and does not pack organized at all. Um, the minute music starts Sapphire is ready to party. The Sapphire loves fun. They are motivated by fun and the majority of people find sapphires to be ADD or ADHD when really they're just motivated by fun and they're not the personality that would be the good student in school. So you'll find them generally in trouble, detention, and then making friends with the principal. They are um, the life of the party they are, they come in and they put on, um, you know, they walk in a room and, and the room just shines with their happiness. They are, they are very happy people and they don't take well to correction. They tend to, to back up um, and not, and they don't, they just don't respond to correction very well. Um, they love people, love talking to people and they always think they're in trouble when it comes to dealing with that and they don't want to be in trouble. So those are your sapphires. Um, you can definitely learn more. I will get um, another video about the gems and more information below this as well. Next up are the pearls. The pearls are our lovely soft pearls. Pearls are motivated by a cause. They just want to help others. The pearls don't care about money. Money is not their motivator. They just want to help others. Um, they want to help charities. They want to help um, people in need. They're very organic. They're um, very soft-spoken. They wear comfortable clothing. 
They're not, you're not going to find them wearing very many bright, shiny clothes. They're very, um, what else is real big about a pearl? They're, they're just very, you'll find them gardening, everything, you know, very homemade. And, um, they definitely like people and they like to build very re strong relationships. They are the most loyal people you'll ever meet. Um, they'll be your most loyal friend. And they're very much taken advantage of because they're so wrapped up in that I gotta help people, I gotta help people, I can't, I can't take money for this. And they'll give their product away. <laughs> and sometimes, um, you know, you, you wanna build a business. So as a pearl, you gotta be conscious about that's who you are and that's great. But um, you definitely deserve to build a business to help others and a lot of the pearls will say um, I don't need the money it's okay I'm happy just being here but you got to think about like how much charity can we help how many orphans out there need to be fed how many um, people are out there that are in need and um, you're in an opportunity to make great money and be able to donate and help others start a foundation um, to help children or wherever your heart leads you. And that's the pearl. Um, next up is the emeralds. The emeralds are facts and figure driven. The emeralds have a straight closet. Short sleeve, long sleeve, color coordinated. It's all coordinated. Very much organized. The Emeralds dishwasher must be, everything must go in order. The Sapphire dishwasher, don't care. The Sapphire closet, don't care. The Emeralds know how to pack a suitcase nicely. And um, the Emeralds are very much fact driven. So when you're dealing with your clients and customers and or people on your team, you're going to find people who want the facts. They want to know numbers. They want you to lay those out for them. Those people are your emerald personalities. Emeralds are very regimented and they they get caught up in the perfectionist um, part of stuff. Everything like I got to do this and I have to do this. It has to kind of be in an order and, and um, that I would say is somewhat of a weakness and um, we all can benefit from each other being different personalities and learn from each other um, and that's pretty much the emerald is very much a great like saver of money just really good with that the emerald you're gonna find wears um, like a black or a, a green or just they're not into bright colors they don't understand the sapphires and the, you know, the emeralds and the pearls are the good students in school, right? And you, you were probably had that mom or that pa the parents that were like, why can't you be like so and so? Well, guess what? Because you were a sapphire. That's how you were created. That's how you were designed. And it's okay. The people just don't understand personalities. I mean, we've gone all these years and we're just learning, you know? So, um, the emeralds are awesome people because the emeralds are what keep me going when it comes to details. The emeralds love the frickin' details. <laughs> and I laugh because I am not even close to an emerald. Um, I want to be very organized and, and be able to have my closet perfect. And I will say my closet is color coordinated. But that's because uh, my college roommate did that to me and I've just never changed it but in terms of like sleeves dresses that's whatever and some of the clothes is yeah um, and the dishwasher whatever and um, yeah so they're very orderly um, you know very numbers accountants stuff like that and the last personality that we know is the Ruby and the Ruby is very much driven by a challenge. They love a challenge. They love 
to be number one. They want to be first. They want to win. If they don't win, they're not playing the game. That's how a Ruby works. A Ruby wants to go, go, go. I will sleep when I'm dead. I got work to do. And you're going to find the Rubies are, you know, your top money makers. They are very um, competitive. And the pearls can't, I would say, get very much overwhelmed by a Ruby. They're, they are direct opposites in terms of personality because you do have a secondary personality um, and you're not going to find a ruby pearl because they are complete um, direct opposites but they can help each other a ruby can help a pearl um, get through the the helping piece and really work to make a business grow and the pearl can help the ruby learn how to you know, come down and really help people and not just be 100% money driven. A ruby is very much money driven and that's just how they were designed. They get burnt out easy because they work, 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 work. They don't relax, they just work. Um, they have to always be first, like I said. Rubies are just hardcore working challenge driven money driven individuals so um, that is about all I have for the personalities I hope this gave you some insight it's really important when you're talking to your clients that you speak their gem to them if you're sitting there and telling them how fun and how amazing this is and you're talking to an emerald do you think they really care no do you think um, the pearl, if you're telling a pearl personality, a person you're talking to, about how much money and all this is going to be great and all these challenges, do you think a pearl cares? No. So you're going to find that we have all different personalities. And someone may have kind of rubbed you kind of a wrong way. And that's just because that's how they're motivated. And that's their personality. And that's okay because that's the way they were designed. And each one of us can benefit from all the different personalities. So really tap into your gem. Figure out what you are. Find out your secondary gem. So for me, I'm a ruby. My secondary is a sapphire. Love colors. I am beyond unorganized. Um, I I, I do my best to outsource help to keep me straight and organized. Um, I don't care what the dishwasher, just get the dishes in the thing and whatever. I, I don't care. Um, as long as they're in there and I can press, you know, wash or whatever, I, I'm just, it's just, that's just how we are wired. So, um, again, I hope this is really helpful. You can also try the color coded chart. Um, that Beachbody's provided, but I really encourage you to learn your gem and really learn your team's gems. You can you can learn what they're motivated by and um, how to help keep them growing and how to help your clients learn what they're motivated by. Um, really take some time to learn about their gems. It's really awesome because um, it helps, it's even in your relationship with your spouse. Um, my spouse is an emerald and Ruby and um, so you better believe every time I load the dishwasher I get a speech about why the di this needs to be like this and this needs to be like that and when he mows the lawn it's got to be straight lines and I don't care just it's grass is cut right so um, just to give you a general idea um, that's how personalities work and I really um, would like you to comment below what your personality is. Are you a ruby? Are you a sapphire? Are you a pearl? Or are you an emerald? Think about it and share below. Um, I'm excited to hear from you guys and I will talk to you soon.